Hello, everybody. And welcome back to Sea of Stars. Now, we are currently in just into Torment Peak, and I will say this place is very... What the nonsense is that? Hey! Oh, God, what are you? Oh, God, what are you? A sleuth in a bile pile. Oh, gosh. Yeah, these are Dweller Monsters, yep. Which means they're very weak to Solstice Magic, the magic of the sun and the magic of the moon. Yay. So the Sleuth is dead. What about this? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Ew, 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 ew. Valerie, please, for the love of God, Moomerang this thing into non-existence. Please, for love of God, into non exit. Oh my god, that thing has so much health. I didn't even notice that much health. He's also very weak. He has zero defenses. He was all attack. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, ew. Ew, no. Oh, please, no. You know what? Dash Strike's gonna do it. Gonna double power the Dash Strike. <clears throat> oh god, how much health do those things have? Oh god, that Sleuth is disturbing. So is the Cyclop. Well, they're all one hit, so... That'll work. Oh! Right. They only take magic damage, don't they? Oh, that's fun. You die, please. Oh, God, please. Oh, that's so disturbing. Zayo, please burn this thing into non-existence. Thank you. Oh, we're so close to another level. Oh, let there be light. Oh, thank gosh. Hello there. What are you? Day or night does not matter here. Okay. Oh, hold on. What is this thing? A button that needed to be pressed. To get those going. Okay, cool. So I went the right way. there be light. Oh god. That thing is not creepy in the least. Okay, th so this is the way forward then? So something's going on over here and it's going to be way secrets. I think. <sighs> is this way secrets? This looks like a way secrets. Aha! Definitely was way secrets. Phantom daggers. Ooh, that's for a Sarai. Sharp blades emitting a faint, eerie noise. Does same amount of magic attack, but an additional six regular attack. What do they look like? Oh, they look like that. Uh oh. Uh, so Valerie's gonna moon meringue. That's a good amount of damage. Sarai is going to Venom Flurry. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to see what this thing's gonna do. Multi shoot. 
Oh gosh. Oh, that did nothing. Was I overreacting for nothing with this thing? Okay, well you're gonna die now. And then you're gonna die. These guys have like no magic resistance. Yes, level up. Okay, good. Okay. So, hit point seeds no, doesn't need to worry about. Uh, magic defense is lower, but we don't got to worry about that too much right now. His regular defense is sky high, which is okay. We could get him better magic attack, but that would just level him out, and that's not really needed. But he does need more mana. Never have too much mana. Garl. Oh my gosh, he's getting two mana already for this one? Jeez. So he's going from 13 to 15 mana. His defense and magic defense is fine. We do need to start working on his magic attack, though. His magic attack is really low. So otherwise, no, he's fine. Sarai, Sarai. Your physical defense is lacking, my guy. So is your health. But... If we get your defense up, the same as giving you more HP points, isn't it? Because you just take less damage. We'll work on that defense. Okay, and then I think... Yeah, your magic attack definitely needs some help there, Valerie, because you are a hefty magic attacker. And I think everybody's defense is pretty good. Now we can just rely on gear upgrades for that. I think we should start focusing on their attack and their mana. As long as we get those those going, I think they're going to start doing a lot more damage, and we're going to get through fights a lot quicker. That is the plan, now that their defenses are well taken care of. Oh, we landed in the void for a second. Okay, hold on. There's a dude behind us. I don't like that. So Garl's gonna hurl this guy. And then these sluice require magic damage to damage them, apparently. I think I kill pretty much two of them so far. Yeah. Oh gosh, we require that much to level up now. Yeesh. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, some vines down. Slide up the place real quick. That's good. Oh, you here. Mmm. Okay. So swap, please. Sry, Sry needs to phase shiv. Starting with this guy. can take out this guy. Sarai is going to work on farming up for the big people over here. Valerie's just going to do this. I want to make sure that the mana stays up.
regenerate. And Zale should hopefully kill it. No, Zale did not kill it. Oof. But that does mean Sarai's gonna have another chance to generate more mana. There we go. She's at max now. That's good. All in all, not a bad fight. How do we get to that one? Oh, hello. Another seal. Somebody tried really hard to contain this. Mm, okay, so now we gotta find two things? Okay, so this just drops in there. Light up the place a little bit. Trigger this. Which triggers one of those. Now we gotta figure out how to trigger this other one. God, this is a freaky place. Freaky deaky. Oh, okay. So that's the one was easier. We did the hard one first. <laughs> Ooh, seal is released. So far, not a hard place. Everything here is ridiculously weak to Zale and Valerie, so it's not the worst. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, hold on. Does that say something? No. I thought it did. Oof. Oh gosh. Come here. Hold on. Swap with Garo real quick so we can hurl this guy over. shield? Oh gosh, what is that? Why does that make me so uncomfortable? Oh, he took a hit for him. Another flesh shield. Okay, so it takes a straight up hit for them. Okay, that's so much good. No, you don't. Valerie's just gonna go smack this guy. Oh, he's getting another flesh shield? Oh gosh, they can stack those up. That's not a good thing. Garl, please try working on getting those out. Okay, so Garl got those clear. Sail now has enough to whack this guy, get him out. Valerie can crescent arc. Oh, wow, yeah, that does a lot of damage. Crescent arc again. That's just gonna straight up kill him. But I don't think I need to do that. I think I need to do this. <clears throat> then, yep, they help kill him outright. Good, good, good. Man, this place is horrible. Ooh, rainbow conch. One of the four will that we need. To get the next thing. <clears throat> Perfect. Die, please. 
Valerie. Make him die, please. Nope. Okay, then. Garl, can you please kill him? For the love of God. Oh, no, he has 7 HP. Oh, so much fun. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Garl, can you kill him, please? Thank you. Valerie. He's dead. Wow. Uh, if it was literally anybody else other than a Solstice Warrior who could use lunar and solar magic, these guys would not be killable. Something going on with that one there. Oh, something's going on here. Come here. Oh, gosh. Okay, that's not good. Official. These triclopses are an issue. Now we're gonna do that, but he's gonna go after. She's gonna go after him. The sleuth thing. Wow, they really want Garl right now, huh? Garl's gonna focus on finishing these guys off. Zale is going to whack this guy again. Now he's gonna finish him. With no damage. Oh, that's fun. So it literally requires magic damage to kill those guys doing a damage to them. That's fun. Garl's going to attack this guy and kill him. The battle against Crescent Arc, that is. There we damage to him. <clears throat> Garl can generate. There we go. Oh, just say left. Okay, fine. And now it's dead. This place sucks. Anything going on here? No? That's probably a good thing. Okay. Uh, that looks like way forward, so this is... Yeah, this is way secrets. Yep. He's got what? A green leaf. What does that do? Who's missing something on this? They're not. What was Greenleaf? Oh, Greenleaf was max HP plus 15. Mm. Who's got the lowest HP? Sarai does. Sarai has the lowest HP. Increases bonus from timing hits and blocks by 10%. She doesn't really need that. She does need more HP, though. Okay. That'll work. Whatever dweller is in this place is messed up, man. What? 
Are those moles? Yes. Are you seeing a bunch of furry little butts? Yep. Oh, the little monkeys. Hello, man. Wow, you all look so healthy. Is that a sword? Hey, you're like this other guy. He could shoot tiny little sons. He said he'd save our mom, and then he left instead. So rude. Don't be rude, son boy. What? What is going on here? Can you keep one? What happened to your mom? She's down below. We love her so much. She says we can't go and see her because of the monster. So we just stare at her from up here. She's so pretty. We used to run around the island. I miss the clouds. Do clouds still exist? Oh gosh. Little baboon butts. Hey, it sounds like they're talking about the gorilla matriarch. But Teak said all divine spirits had been destroyed by the Fleshmancer long ago. The master mentioned this too, though he said they were either destroyed or harvested. So the cubs are... Food for the dweller. How did our order not stop this? We just put a seal on the mountain and pretend like nothing happened? Hey, it's rude to just talk between yourselves. <laughs> we will help your mom and get you all back outside. Really? That would be awesome. <laughs> we could run around the island again. Or maybe they'll never return just like our siblings. I think they were eaten by the monster. I think they found a nicer room and don't want to share. Sharing is prude. Oh my gosh, they're a bunch of little monkeys. Can we jump down one of the holes? Well, that is depressing. What's over here? Oh my gosh. Is this the way forward? This looks like a way forward. Yeah, this definitely looks like a way forward. I don't want this just yet. I want to see if there's way secrets. I <laughs> love the little music they got over here. Okay, so... Is there anything going on here? Oh, this is way progress. <clears throat> Gorilla Matriarch, you really are alive. You should not have come. The evil of this place is too vile to confront, even for Solstice Warriors. What happened to you? I was subjected to the Flesh Rancher's final affront to this world. Before leaving, he placed a seed of evil in the depths of this mountain and bound me here so that my cubs will remain in close proximity. This guy, I swear. I am cursed to watch helplessly as they walk before me on the way to be devoured by the growing dweller of torment. And with their innocent minds so easily controlled, my pleas always go unheard. What a terrible fate. Find spirit, let alone a dweller. It's all connected to the curse of this place. It was devised to be the perfect lair. Memories formed within the mountain belong to it forever. Solstice warriors came, but whenever they left to get reinforcements, they would remember nothing other than a crippling sense of dread. All they could do was seal the mountain and never return. There isn't much that could have been done, even if they did prepare a cleansing. We are so deep within the lair, the light from the eclipse would never touch the dweller to make it vulnerable. There has to be a way. <clears throat> Your duty to the world at large is paramount. Please seal the mountain again and go. Tethered Mind Potion keeps our memories safe, but it's useless for the fight. And the Solstice Amulet should resonate with the Dweller, but that l but the light from the Eclipse will not be get in here. I have a plan. Just go and trigger the Eclipse. Oh, so that was Way Secrets, and this was Way Forward? Yeah, there is, because I can literally just leave. Re I want to do the Secrets, though. Oh, man. Fine, Dweller Torment it is. Oh god, please tell me this is water. Oh my gosh. Oh, not the baby monkey. Hey, 
Hey there, little guy. I want to see my mom. She's just over there. Come, we'll take a tour. I feel she's this way. I think you lie. Why do you lie? Reacted, I can feel the eclipse. <clears throat> Sarai, whatever you're planning, please make it quick. Okay, well, this is not good. That did literally nothing. Okay, does this do anything? Nothing. Okay. Ow. Okay, so just build up some orbs. Three orbs. What do here? Useless. We need more light. I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry, I'm late. Right on. Let's take this thing down. So it's no longer immune? Oh god. Aiden, he just immediately whacked Sarai. Er, Valerie. Does this do more damage or does. I'm gonna say Sunball does more damage. One, two, three, four. Oh, his fists. We can attack his fists. Okay, hold on. Uh, Garl, 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 Garl. Uh, just keep working on the left arm. You're just gonna farm stuff for me. Uh oh. Uh, Garl, you gotta swap. Garl, you gotta swap. Sarai, hi. Um, skills. Venom Flurry. Venom Flurry. Let me start with you. There we go. And Zale can continue attacking this guy and break his thing. Because I don't want to deal with that. And Valerie can keep up on the left arm. Oh, and of course he's back. With it again. Okay, Sarai. It's a good thing I got that cheapen thing on you, huh? Zale, 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 Zale. What am I gonna do with you, Zale? Cause that only triggers once. Well, is it all counts as the same thing? Oh, it does. Thank gosh. And then Valerie's just gonna keep working on that left arm. Just keep up on that left arm, guys. Sorry, I take some left. Um, oh, combo, yeah, Salsa Strike. Salsa Strike should work. Yes! Sarai, buff, keep generating stuff off that left arm. Man, how much health does this guy have? Oh, he 
Yes, left arm's down. Okay, good. Okay. Good. Oh, ow. Uh, Sarai, not gonna take anything. Because your magic won't do anything. But Valerie's will. There we go. Uh... Actually, hold on. Let's Sarai build up. And Valerie is going to take all that. Wouldn't you? High damage versus one target, or... Ooh, I can do Sumerang. Oof. Um... High damage versus one target. I think we gotta go Moonshiv. She can use her ultimate. Ooh. Hold on. Will this do anything? Nobody else has an ultimate. Oh, hello. Hey, everybody's here. Oh. Oh, wow. Whoa. I didn't do as much as I was hoping, but you know what? It it'll work. Okay, Valerie. It's time for bonking of epic proportions. That was not a bonking of epic proportions, Val Valerie. Okay, so that's how much health they have. Two thousand one hundred twenty-five each. Okay, uh, Zale's gonna have to work with that, huh? Start with the left, work our way over. You're just gonna be the generator here, Sarai. Hold on. Dash strike all of them? Nice. up yet for a combo or solstice healing there single singular rise gonna have to disorient real quick Pick, Garl picks a random item for a special effect. We're gonna have to hope it does something with poison. did like nothing. Okay, cool. Well, first off, Garl, swap back out for Zale, please. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, Zale combo, combo, Zunarin, yes! That'll do it.
Nice. Of, of, of course. Oh, we can use Vespers the Vesper Time Cannon again, but that doesn't do anything. Okay, fine. Going after that arm. Sarai, just keep generating, please. generating. There we go. Sarai's just gonna keep on recovering. There we go, nice. And then Zale's got a sunball him, yeah. Rye is actually going to disorient. <laughs> Valerie's gonna go again. I item. Disorients again. Do it again. Okay. No, we have to use that. Okay, cool. Hopefully this does a lot of damage to him. Come on. Do it. Mega bonking! does something yes, Sarai generates because she didn't have enough for another disorient and Valerie does a regular bonking This dude just does not die, does he? Most damage Sarai's ever gonna deal with in, in this situation, honestly. seen what three more uh oh uh oh crescent arc 
We killed him. Yes. Oh, oh, oh nice. We did it. Good thinking, sir. Right? Now to destroy the core. Together. Bonk. Nice. Ready to go free the matriarch? You bet. You owe us nothing, matriarch. Oh, but it is the least I can do. Fixing the watcher will only take a moment, and its prism is how you will find what you were looking for. Mom, come go run down the island now. Certainly, my dear. In fact, we must run to the watcher right now. Can we go swimming? First, we must go to the watcher, then we can go to the water. Watcher water. Hey, fast, how fast can you say watcher water? Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know how she does it. Prism is a key. Let's see here. E and Q? Ooh. Hold on. I'm going back in. There's something I want to go check out. Hold on. Give me one second. I want to go get to that secret area since I accidentally went the way forward. Oh, these guys are back. Hi. They gave good XP, though. You are the frustrating one here. These guys have a lot of experience points. Wait, what? Oh, no way. Was that just the entrance? No way, that did just take us back to the entrance. Okay. So there was no secret. Fine. Although, Torment Peak is a surprisingly decent place to grind because those guys give so much experience. So what's over here? Mossy Cash. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So we got a... Oh, no. It's not one of these, is it? What am I comparing it to? Oh, what am I comparing this to, though? Okay, you know what? Lines go on the outside. Fine. Lines go on the outside. Now we just match this. Okay, it's a wizard kneeling. Okay. Oh, you think I didn't see that? Rainbow Conch. Let's 
sneaky little thing. Vial of Time. This is it. Let's take it to Rashan. Okay. So we jump back to Lake Docardia. need to take the long way around again. Great archives. Rashan, we have your vial. It appears you do, but we should make sure it is not an imitation. Garo, would you kindly throw it at the wall? With all your strength. Won't it break? I hope so. Vial of time, oh how I've missed you. Thank you for recovering my most prized possession. You have shown much bravery. You better hold up your end of the bargain now. No more errands. Oh, make no mistake, I'm coming with you. But my code is strict, so there are rules. First, I may assist in battle, but it is not my place to win for you. As such, I will match your power, but never exceed it. Wait, you're really going to... Next, no one other than the four of you can be aware of my true identity. You are to refer to me exclusively as Rashan, and more importantly, never as the Immortal Alchemist. You got it. Might want to be extra careful around Teeks, though. Lastly, and most importantly, I am under no circumstances allowed to fight a Dweller. If a confrontation occurs with a dwell the Dweller of Strife, that fight will be yours and yours alone. <clears throat> Understood. Shall we go, then? Uh, Rashan? Yes? You can't come like this. Your robes are all tattered. Oh. If you don't want people to know you're immortal, maybe cl clothes that have been decaying for millennia aren't the safest bet. Fair enough. <laughs> Better. <laughs> totally. <laughs> then lead the way. Mesa Islands to the northeast. The one with a giant stone head. I'm sorry, what? We now just have a random alchemist? What? Okay, so we're back aboard the Vespertine. Yeah, there's Teeks. It's nice to meet you, Teeks. I am also a traveler of sorts. Rishan, huh? So you make potions? You could say that. Now, wait a minute. There's more to you. Uh, <laughs> I see. Don't worry, I won't tell. Would you mind, though? If you promise not to tell of my true identity, you can have my story, yes. <clears throat> I promise. Just stand still for one second here, and... Thanks. Hey, we were just wondering what to do with the glass dome. You can use it as a greenhouse. Come, I'll show you. The glass dome? Potion guy is welcome to stay. Mesa Island, huh? That's where we're headed. Ah, that'd be roughly to the north of here. Big stone head, can't miss it. Just grab the wheel whenever you're ready. <clears throat> whale, whale, whale. Well, I think first things first is... I'm gonna enter the boat. And here is where we're gonna call it quits. This has been a very exciting episode. But thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to go like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye!